Now let us move to the next uh, attribute of Allah which is Al-Jabbar, the compeller who repairs all broken things, who completes what is incomplete. Because the word Al-Jabbar which is coming from Jabara which means to, to repair and uh, if you know, a, a bone a bone is, is broken and, and someone repairs it, it is known as Al-Jabr. So what is the meaning of Al-Jabbar then? We can say the greatest person, more you think about him, more you wonder about him. Because our minds can't absorb his greatness at all. And we can also say that Al-Jabbar means the one who repairs, who amends the affairs of his creation. If a person got any, any, uh, any type of, of trouble or adversity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who can repair it or who can change his position from uh, that difficulty to a peace and relief. And it also means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is jabbar, means to enforce the people upon his will. And what he wanted, that is going to happen in this universe. Can you imagine that something could happen in this universe without his will? No, nothing could happen. But we should also remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala got a way, a sunnah in each and everything. So he is not going to go against his sunnah. Though he has enforced his will everywhere, but you will find that his will is associated with hikmah, with wisdom. Now what we understand from this attribute for ourselves, we should understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is jabbar. He got al jabarut he got the greatness. So it is not befitting for us to claim that greatness for us. And this is why uh, this word is used in the Quran as far as the human beings are concerned for those tyrant rulers who wanted to persecute the people and force them to do what they should not, uh, they should not do. They forced them to be obedient to them without, without their will. So, Jabbar for a human being would, uh, would mean that the person got an arrogance with him. And arrogance does not fit the man. Man should be humble in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is this saying of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه مثقال ضرة من كبر That person who got an atom rate of arrogance in him is not going to enter into paradise. Now the companions of the Prophet wasallam asked this question that one of us wants to have nice clothes upon him, nice shoes for him. Is it arrogance? And the Prophet wasallam said that is not arrogance because in Allah jameelun yuhibbul jamal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is beautiful and he likes the beauty. Al-kibru batarul haqqi wa ghamtun nas. What is arrogance? That is, you deny the truth and wa ghamtun nas and you see the people as uh, mean. You try to uh, hate them and uh, try to think that you are superior than them. This is wa ghamtun nas, not to give them their right. So, the lesson from this attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that Jabarut, the greatness only belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as far as the man is, uh, is concerned, he should try always to be humble and this is how he could have the respect not only of the people, also the respect in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with this we come to the end of this episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah, Allah, Allah,
المالك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار الله 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 الرحمن الرحيم المالك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار